This is the perfect setup, guitar and bass. Macbo, finer points. What is it? It is a backwards curve designed into your neck in order to give your strings enough space to vibrate. The strings must vibrate on either side of wherever you place your fingers upon the neck in order for the string to ring properly. This back bow curve along with your nuts and the saddle bridge height will determine the action, the playability of your guitar. It's the first step in setting up your guitar properly. First of all, if you want a straight neck, so you look down from the head of the guitar on one side, then the other, just on top of the frets beside the string, and you want that curve to look equal in your mind because you're looking at one side at a time. Then you look down the center of the guitar, and you want the light to reveal itself evenly across the frets without any uneven shadows. If you see uneven shadows, there's something up with the neck. So you have a decent neck and you're ready to start. You tune up the guitar. You want the, the, the pressure that you're going to be using when you play the guitar to be on this neck. And you also want it to be upright. You don't want gravity to pull down on the string. You're going to have to measure the amount of back bow in this neck. To do this measurement, you have to depress the first fret on the first string and the last fret on the first string. You only have to do this adjustment on this first fret. Sorry, string. And then you take your measuring device and you slide it in between the top of the center fret and the string. And your tool should just slide in between there without an issue and it should tap the string on the two frets beside the center fret. <clears throat> this center fret is going to vary upon the scale of your guitar and the number of frets. You are looking for the center of the neck, not the center of the guitar. And the spacing that you want is going to be up to you on how much you want because it matters on how you play, the type of bridge that you have, and the gauge of strings that you're going to use. Bass players and tremolos, they need more space. So on a, on a guitar, a measurement of 0 0.01 of an inch 0 0.02 of an inch is uh, is great for a guitar. Now I get away with Stratocasters and get a play very playable guitar where I can strum hard and still use the tremolo, no problems, uh, with around a business card size, and that's around 0 0.013 of an inch. Someone who plays very hard and does huge dive bombs because they have a locking system may want a little bit more space. For bass players, 0 0.02 of an inch, which is around the size of a plastic credit card, is a decent spacing. Some bass players go up to 0 0.03 of an inch. Now this player is really going to be strumming hard with a pick they need a lot of space for that string to vibrate. I have gotten away with guitar size spacing on basses. This is something that you're going to have to test and try out and see what works for you. Now, if, if, your, if your tool slid in and just tap the ones beside, your neck is set. You, you move on. But if you can slide your tool in on the center and you can slide it in on the ones beside and there's still a little bit of space, you're going to have to add tension to the truss rod, getting rid of some of that curve. Opposite to that, if you go to hit your tool, put your tool in and it just hits the string, you're going to have to 
release some of the tension on the truss rod, adding back bow curve to your neck. Now, when you are adding or removing uh, this, when you're adjusting your truss rod, whether it's at the head of the guitar or at the butt, you want it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. And you keep going in the direction of where you were going. You go past where you thought was home, one sixteenth of a turn, then you come back a thirty second of a turn. So you're just ending up a little bit past where you thought home was. You tune up the guitar after, you let it sit. Come back a half hour and check it again. If it if the neck has moved, adjust it again. You wait until that neck has settled to where you want it to be settled before you move on with the rest of your adjustments. If the neck is, is fine, you can move on. But you should still check it again in 24 hours just in case it has moved or not. It can take quite a while for some necks to settle. It could, like Some necks it could take up to 24 hours for that neck to actually settle before you can move on. But once you have... Got that set up, and your bridge and, and your saddles are set to where they want to be. If your action changes, the only thing you will change now is your truss rod adjustment. Your bridge is set in stone here. It's not going to move. The neck is going to move. It moves along with the seasons. Different uh, temp uh, huge temperature changes, humidity changes. I have changed music rooms from one to the other, still on the same floor, and I had to readjust every single one of my necks. It's something that you have to look out for, but it'll be the neck that you're going to be adjusting. I mean, the odd time, your tremolo springs, they, they'll lose its tension, and you may have to adjust that, but you're mostly going to be adjusting your neck. That's uh, what I have to say about the neck and back bow. You can watch other videos uh, on my other videos on more instructions on how to set up the rest of the guitar. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video.